Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. And today, right now, is another review of Star Trek Discovery. Another episode called Saints of Imperfection. Saints of Imperfection. Yeah. So, so yeah, got the previously here, and it was like Tilly fucking haunted. And yeah, we got Burnham running dramatically to the rescue. We got Burnham voiceover and some slow mo shots or slow down shots. And Spock isn't in the shuttle because we can't have expectations. Expectations is a dirty word. We don't f and we don't fulfill expectations. Now it'd be simple. It'd be simple if we found Spock here and now and didn't have to. Didn't have to keep going through a bunch of fucking bullshit. It'd be simple if. If, if our expectations were being met. Oh, but we can't, but uh, yeah, we can't, no, the expectations, what are the expectations? What are expectations, folks? Well, why, well, uh, life is random. It's a random series of events that just happened to us. You know, one day you're, one day you're walking down the street, next day a fucking clown falls on you, fucking killing you. You know, fucking expectations, you know. We don't need fucking expectations. Expectations are for, are for people, are for the far right. They're for the far right expectations, they're for them, you know. You know, life is just a random series of chocolates. You know, one chocolate, it may taste like blueberries. Uh, another chocolate may, it's not even a chocolate. It's a, it's a, just a random tomato inserted into your chocolate box. Because, you know, fuck, fuck expectations, you know. We all you you don't need chocolates in a fucking chocolate box. You know, this is you know you don't need any of that shit, you know. You don't need chocolates in a chocolate box. What you need is a bunch of fucking random fruits and vegetables inside a chocolate box because that's that is how life works, folks. Right? Life isn't like a box of chocolates. No, it's a it's a two by four being launched into space at the speed of light because fucking why not? You don't know where I'm going with this a metaphor. You don't know where there's go where I'm going with this. You don't, you don't know what I'm gonna say next because you 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 think I'm gonna do a review? You think this is gonna be a review of Star Trek Discovery? No, this. No, this is just going to be me uh, uh, shouting out random series of numbers. Here, look at look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand, billion, trillion, thousand, majigger. Who, who cares? You know, fucking expectations. Who fucking needs expectations? What the fuck are you smoking? You think, you think. You think just shit's supposed to make sense? Well, fuck you! You know, sometimes... Sometimes... Sometimes the water in the uh, water lines gets replaced by gasoline, and fuck you! You just... You just put... You just, uh... Sh you just showered yourself with fucking gasoline, cause who fucking cares? You know, your, your, your expectations... What what is expect what what are expectations even what what are what are we supposed what what's supposed to happen who who cares what's what does life mean 
What? 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 Why are the trees green? Who cares? Ex his fucking expectations. Fucking expectations. You know what? I'm gonna subvert them. I am gonna continue reviewing Star Trek Discovery. But, you know why? Why do we even? What? 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 Why? 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 What's the purpose of uh, expectations? I don't know. They're, they're they're just there to subvert, you know. I guess I guess that's the mess. I guess that's the moral of this fucking story, you know. That's just the fucking moral of the goddamn fucking story, cause you know fuck. Because fuck you, that's why. God damn it. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got Michael Burnham automatically knowing what Section 31 is. Of course. Of course. Section 31 is a public branch of Starfleet that everyone fucking knows about. It's just public knowledge. Just fucking public knowledge. You know, Captain Picard, he knew about Section 31. Whole bridge crew knew about Section 31. They were, they were in on it the whole time. Oh, you know, you know, you know, uh... Oh, you know... You know, Captain Janeway... And Captain Kirk, well, they all knew about Section 31, of course. Everyone in those ships knew about Section 31. You know? Uh, I dropped my pen. I dropped my pen. Love this pen, just like I love lamp. Fucks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got Burnham threatening. <laughs> the Emperor because I don't know Burnham thinks she's gonna hurt her hurt him and we got a spur we got a spore transporter and we got the mushroom dimension and Tyler is back and he's black and he's wearing a black he's got black badge and yeah and putting half of the ship in the in the network. And then I just noted this. So yeah, the ship's saucer spins around. So wouldn't that get wouldn't that mean that the the, the ship that there is no safe place on the saucer section to to be because when it goes into spore when it goes into the spore space, uh, it, the, the thing sit, this thing spins around, and, like, making contact with that dimension is apparently fatal, so, uh, the crew should be sort of dead, unless they were, like, ha unless they were, like, uh, kicking it in the nacelle. You know, they were all, everyone was just packed into the one nacelle. But we don't, we don't see the crew go to the nacelle. No, they go to the, they go, they're, they're going someplace on the saucers section or something. So they should be dead. And so, yeah, only Stamets and Burnham are there, are inside the thing, Majigger. They're inside the, the, the white, they're inside the fucking box to rescue Tilly. We only have two of them. And yeah, Dr. Culber is apparently the monster. That must be how, like, uh, SJWs, that must be a metaphor for, like, how the SJWs feel about gay people, I guess. Oh, I go, oh, I know, I know some of you are out there going, oh, no, he didn't. 
He didn't. Well, these are the same people that are fucking writing Star Trek Discovery. And we got apparently my magic mushroom microbes able to break down the hull. And yeah, why was it the bridge control rub it to a different section of the ship? Or apparently the supposedly safe starboard section of the ship? Well, well, it wasn't bridge control routed there. And how is there breathable air in the mushroom dimension? And yeah, the the dish is spinning and is pull and is and is yeah, it's there in the mushroom dimensions and the barrier. Between the mushroom dimension and the real dim and real space is apparently lethal to pass through, so it should be fucking dead. And we have the Section 31 bridge for their spaceship. is dark, and it's sort of like a dumb design. And another Burnham voiceover. Okay. So, yeah, it'd be just, it'd be too simple. Just give us Spock right now. His mind broken state. It'd be too simple to do that. Then we could then we could save ourselves four or five more episodes of bullshit. We can get to the fucking point. Get to the fucking point of the goddamn Figure this you can figure this shit out quicker. And it could save ourselves a shitload of trouble. And yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, my, Michelle Yo, she's getting, she's getting a paycheck. That's still good. It's good, good on her for, for making money. I encourage people to make money. Because we sort of need money to live. And if the SJWs have their way, they're they're going to they're gonna take they're gonna take uh they're gonna reappropriate all all your possessions and they're gonna pay it as reparations to to uh to 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 other to, to ethnic minorities even they're gonna steal yeah the, the SJWs are gonna steal from they're gonna steal from white people they're, they're gonna they're also gonna go they're also gonna steal they're, 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 gonna, they're gonna they're gonna be there for equality so they're gonna steal from everyone to to give back to minorities and whatnot they're gonna they're gonna reappropriate a whole bunch of shit, and yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna go to the electronics store and reappropriate. They're gonna liberate some uh, flat screen TVs. They're gonna go to your local Best Buy. They're gonna break in and uh, liberate. Liberate some iPods and iPads and laptops. They're gonna and they're, they're gonna burn. They're gonna burn down. They're gonna fucking burn down. Uh, they're gonna burn down. Uh, uh, what are they gonna burn down? They're gonna burn down laundromats because laundromats are symbols of oppression for some reason. They're gonna. They're also gonna burn down corner stores because those are symbols of oppression. Everything is a symbol of oppression, folks. Just to just to let you know, uh, they're gonna go out there. They're gonna reappropriate everything. They're gonna go. They're gonna create every zone. Every every city is gonna be a chaz. It's gonna be fun. Everyone will get to go camping and grow their own. Grow their own. Uh. Grow their own vegetables. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, folks. It's gonna be fun. It'll be like camping. It's gonna be fun. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a, 
Uh, that's some juice that should be saving for a rant, but who cares? So, yeah. That is the episode. You know, fuck expectations at this point. Who, who needs a logical series of events for a story? That's so... That's so... That's so 1990s. All our stories now, they just can't make any sense anymore. Because if they did, whoa! That would be radical there, folks. That'd be fucking radical. Oh, man. Stories where people's expectations are satisfied? Holy shit! That would be just fucking anarchy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. This fucking boring. Absolutely fucking boring. So, yeah. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. Stay sexy, San Diego. Stay frosty. Get your jewels in one. And I'm a spaceman. Peace out. Or war out. You know where I'm going with... You know, you don't know where I'm going. Because expectations. Ah, expectations. Who cares about expectations anymore? Oh, you thought this, ep you thought this episode was going to end... Over there, but it's ending over here. I'm just adding whole seconds to the ending and all blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I'm a spaceman. Peace out, bitches.